to my channel. In the previous tutorial, I have explained about the routing and wildcard routing. In this tutorial, I am going to explain about the module wise routing and I'll share the link about the routing and wildcard routing in the description box. So guys, if you have not followed me on the Instagram and Facebook, please follow me at the technical knowledge group. So let's go to the next slide. See, we can have multiple module in one project and each module can have their own routing file. So what is module? So module is a logical division of a project. For an example, Flipkart can have multiple module like client, agent and admin. Right. And in next scenario, we can group the route. For example, client and agent both can place the order. Right. So that means order component will have in both client and agent. So what will be the URL of a menu client for the client client slash order and for agent agent slash order. So we will see how we can group the uh, group the route if the component name is same in multiple module. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. So here in this example we have taken while explaining the routing. So same example we have we will take further here. I'll I'll add one module ng g for generate m for module and I'll say client. Right. But if I press enter the client module will be generated but it won't add the routing. So for the adding the routing file I need to say hyphen hyphen. For this I need to say hyphen hyphen routing. Press enter. Now it will add client module with the routing file. Now client module is added, but there is no component. Let's open the com this file routing file and keep open. So we'll add one component inside inside the client module. So ng g for generate c for component. So client inside the client we would like to generate component say slash order. Now order component is generated. So here in the HTML we'll change the some text say client save it and close this file now here in the routing file of the client we will import from order slash order component and will mention the name of a order component right and for this we need to create a uh, path so here we'll say path and the name of the path will say order and will assign the component will know the component name that is order component and save it so here in we have uh, made the changes in the routing file there are two module one is client and the other is app module right this one so how the client and app module will interact with azure so for this we need to open the app module dot ts file and here we need to import the client module inside this so how we can do this import from client slash client module and let's mention the name client module this is the name of a client module and copy and paste the import section at the bottom sorry just the client module yeah just the client module and save it so now in this way client module will interact with with the app module so everything is done let's run the application and see the changes and with this we need to do one more thing inside this app dot component dot html there are two existing uh, customer and uh, and about us uh, link is there now we can add one more link that is uh, that is for order yeah then we can able to know order is loading or not so we'll mention here order and save it application compiled successful so we'll open the open the uh, private window because it does not contain any cache so let's say local is 4200 and we'll also open the console for this so that we can able to track any error if there is see if we click on the customer it work fine if we say about it's work fine oh where is the where is the order so let's let's refresh it yeah orders come when i click on the order it says you are trying to access is invalid link what is this that means if we look about the routing of app module this routing work rather than of loading order mo order component why the reason behind is this if you open the app model.ts file so where we uh, i mean uh, injected the module name 
at the bottom so what happened uh, uh, at the priority level the routing of a uh, app component work first and then the route of the second module which is loaded so what we have to do just cut this and paste at the at the top and save it so now this time it should work as expected see it loaded automatically and it print the text right so these are small changes that we we need to keep in mind now we uh, one one uh, okay this particular scenario is covered now client module was added and we have to add one more module called agent so let's add one more module quickly ng g for generate m for module we'll say agent now uh, sorry we agent now for routing we need to do hyphen hyphen routing now we close all the file so whenever any file required we'll open it so where is the agent yeah agent is uh, generated we'll open the routing say keep open and now there's no component we'll add the component order component with the same name g for generate c for component and order component inside the agent so we'll say agent slash component name press enter so order component is generated so we'll change the text say agent yeah so that we can able to you know differentiate the text and close it now in the same way we will import the order component here from uh, slash order slash order component and the order component name yeah and we'll define the route for this in the same way as we have defined for the client say path uh, the name of path is order and component will be order component yeah save it and the same way agent model will also inject into the app module so we'll import in the same way import from slash agent slash agent module uh, what is this yeah some error okay close it and now we'll mention the agent module yeah and copy this and paste inside the import section and save it now we have imported everything and now at the last we need to define the path or menu for the agent so we'll change this text say client order and this order page we will use for the agent yeah we'll will mention the same name because in the routing uh, we have mentioned the order only in both the module right so let's run the application ng serve press enter now application compiled successfully let's go to the browser and we'll refresh it yeah client order and everything so we'll click here customer about us client order so when we click on the client order it says client order works that's fine let's click on the agent order oh for the agent it also says client order work so there is an error right because when we click we should it should load agent order work when we click on the agent order so what is the issue so let's go to the app.model.ts and we'll understand see at the top client module is injected and below that agent module is injected so the routing file of a client module override the agent module right so let's open the routing of both client and agent so this one is sorry this one is uh, for the client yeah so in the agent the same component was there with the same name and in the client so in the agent it's same name right so in client and agent the syntax is same that is why angular here bit confused so whatever the whatever which way whichever the module will be injected first it override the other module so in order to resolve this kind of error we will group the routing so how will group the routing so for this we'll say path agent for agent will say agent and here inside this children array will define the route will define the route now agent will become parent and this will come become the children and the same way will change the routing inside the client say path 
here we'll say client and uh, children and then inside this array just copy and paste Oh, something is changed. Uh, yeah, no, it's oh, sorry, okay, there is syntax error. Let's remove it and we'll add again. Okay, so now inside this, we'll add one more object, say path. Here, we'll say client for the children and there is an array so inside this array we'll cut and paste it yeah okay uh, this should be here the unnecessary error they should not be here they should not be here and now let's remove this yeah perfectly now all the changes has been done except on the menu we will we need to slightly change because for the client we have added the client as a string and for the agent we have added the agent as a string and save it so let's go to the browser and refresh it see for the slash order it says trying to access invalid link that means for uh, i mean order uh, as in th there is no route defined for just an order so for customer it's working fine about is working fine so let's click on the client order yes it's working fine let's click on the agent let's click fine right so when we click on the client order just see the url client was added before the order and same with the agent the agent text was added so in this way if you have the same component name inside the different different module so we can group and then and then we can play around so uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any issue regarding my previous or regarding my current video please share the question in the comment box i will be very happy to answer if you are new to this channel play, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon and also share the link with your friends and colleague thank you so much